伺候爷爷贝贝。Seven happy small. This is seven happy small. M O O G D zero watt. M O O G D zero watt. Reporting for training. Can't wait to learn B Q C. Brain quadrant combat. American psychonauts.
moments. Holly won't be able to stick around for the stream but this is one of my favorite games ever so I hope you enjoy it. Holly Tones Love. Is that true? Just so you know, there are a whole lot of little guys in this game. Please, for the love of God, stay safe. That's really scary. I'm gonna cancel the stream now.
I was very tempted to just hit the, the stop streaming button to commit to the bit. Getting but, my first shot on Monday. Wish me luck. But, you know, then people probably would have actually left, so that's not good for viewership. <laughs> Anyways, theme music. Hey folks, how's everyone doing today? I hope your day's been good to you. I hope you're doing well. And if things aren't so great, then I hope the stream today can give you somewhere nice to be for a couple hours. It is Friday. Thank you, Die Fiend, for the $1 Sorry, tip. Sorry, my brain's at the cleaners. Gonna take a rain check on this streaming. Okay, have fun getting cleaned, I think. Uh, it is Friday. July 30th, 2021. Uh, I'll be honest, it's not been uh, a great day for me, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, apologies if I don't like have the energy to do a, a super long stream today. Uh, I certainly don't plan on doing seven hours like I did with Claymates. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, I felt well enough to stream. So, uh, I figured it would probably help pick my mood up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna be doing Psychonauts today. Which is a game I have heard a lot of good things about. Uh, a game I have been meaning to play for... Uh... I reckon since it was released. <laughs> so, like... What, 16 or so years by this point? <laughs> Thank you, Jill Jig, for giving a gift about to six Kuros. That's very generous of you. Uh, and so, you know, I figured, well, uh, I'm playing and beating a bad platformer on 
Wednesday, uh, what better way to celebrate than to play a good platformer? On Friday, today. <laughs> so here we are. <clears throat> uh, I've heard, you know, bits and pieces about this game over the years. Uh, mostly that uh, people like it a lot. And that I specifically would probably like it a lot. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Butler Kitty, hey, for Polly. the tip. I'm extremely excited to watch you play this game. It's one of my favorites of all time. Hell yeah! Just wanted to ask, what's your favorite shape? You can't Thank just ask you. someone that. That's a hard question. Uh, uh, There's more to explore here. Thank you, Soul in a Moon, for the bits. I appreciate it. Man, I'm excited for more Outer Wilds. <laughs> they announced the Outer Wilds DLC was going to come out literally a week after my birthday, so that's cool. Thank you, Church Bones, I for the tip. I on tea today and jazzed you're playing one of my fave games. Oh yeah! Sorry, today hasn't been the best for you. It happens, it's fine. the game today can put a smile on your face. Hell yeah, here's hoping. I mean, you know, you just gotta... I've spent, what, 26 years on this planet? I know how to take things in stride. <laughs> one day at a time, so you gotta take the good with the bad and all that. Thank you for the tip, I appreciate it. Uh... What was I saying? Um... I've heard a lot of people talk about um, how much they like this game. And so uh, I'm excited to give it a try for myself. Am I going to check out Psychonauts 2 once it comes out? Definitely not right away, because it's $80 Canadian before tax. And I don't even know if I like this one yet, but maybe someday. Thank you, Mothman, for the I tip. I would like to issue a correction. There are no little guys in this game. Only little men. Oh, thank God. They are all going to be okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Uh. <laughs> We're all going to be safe now. Uh. Am I 100%ing this? I haven't even started playing the game. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to play the game for a couple of hours today. And then I'm going to play it again next week. Presumably. And then probably play it a couple times until it's over. Uh. I don't know when I'm going to finish it or how much I'm going to be doing of it. And all that. You thought the RTFD was cancelled? What? Why? And also, what does that have to do with Psychonauts? <laughs> uh... I've heard some people say that trying to 100% this game is not so great. Yo, Holly. Big excited for this. If I can tell you one thing about this game, it's that all the characters have different things to say as you go through the game, and it's all really funny stuff, so take the time to talk to people. Enjoy. I Hope mean, I'm gonna good. play the game however I want to, and I appreciate the tip, but please don't give me your money just to say, hey, I'm a big fan, you should play the game this way now, and you should do what I'm gonna tell you. Like, no, please. Don't. Uh, speaking of which, uh, you know, take some time to re-familiarize yourself with the rules. Uh, mods have permission to shoot on site for backseating tonight, <laughs> so don't do it. At work on that grind and using this as my podcast for as long as you're streaming. So keep it up and enjoy the game I haven't played. Hey, hell yeah. Thanks for the tip, I appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, Len, you can kill. You can do it. Uh, what? What else was I going to say? Uh, I guess the normal stuff. Uh, if you want to support the stream. Uh, subs, tips, bits, uh, all that stuff. Uh, never mandatory. Greatly appreciated. Uh, this is, you know, my main source of income right now, which is why I'm able to uh, spend as much time and creative energy as I do on stuff like this and other things, other creative projects. Uh, and so, you know, if you got if you got uh, a couple of bucks to spare and you like what we do here, uh, you know, support very greatly appreciated. Uh, look at the rules. Follow the rules. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, you can do exclamation point Discord and get a link to the Discord. Uh, if you want to post fan art and have that shown off at the end of the stream, we got uh, a fan art channel in the Discord. 
or you can at me uh on twitter and i'll give it a look at the end of stream uh all that stuff uh it is also fine for her to not play exactly as you'd like right like it's okay if i miss things it's fine I don't need to see literally every, every single thing that a game has to offer for me to have a good time with it. There's an entire chunk of Undertale that I will literally never play because it sounds awful. And, like, I don't need people telling me, oh, but you're missing so much by not going through and doing all this stuff. Like, I, that's fine. I can live with that. I have a lot of other things I can do. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just <laughs> cool your jets. What else was I going to say? Uh, uh, oh yeah, thing to be aware of. Uh, in this game specifically, apparently, a uh, lot of, a fair bit of the game, I don't know how much of it exactly, it comes up repeatedly, apparently, but, uh, you know, the, the language in this game, it's, it's, it's a product of its time. Unfortunately, they use some, like, uh, anti-Romani slurs as, like, a, like a very casual term sort of thing and uh it's something the devs have apparently like addressed uh and like acknowledged okay yeah this is shitty we weren't aware uh we're going to uh not do that in the future so just you know something to be aware of doesn't hurt to know about stuff like that before you jump in i suppose yeah uh, yeah i I've, I've been told they're not like doing that uh, in, like, stuff moving forward because, like, people brought it forward to them and they were like, okay, yeah, that is pretty shitty. Our bad. Which is nice. You like to see it. Like, it's dated. It sucks. Uh, it's a product of its time. Uh, they've learned they're gonna be doing better. It's cool. Well, it's, it, it, it's cool in the future. You, I, I, I reckon you know what I mean. <laughs> Words. Uh... What else was I going to say? I feel like there was something else I wanted to say at the start of stream. I don't remember. It probably wasn't important. Uh, I think with how old the game is, it's not something they can patch out. Right, yeah, they would have to redo, like, I presume entire things of dialogue, which is difficult and costs money for a very I old fully. game, you know? Hope or any you enjoy game. The game. Thank you, Duke of Hammer, for the 14-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, Shanghai Omai, for the tip. Smunk. Thanks. Smunk? S Smunk? <laughs> Smunk? <laughs> Smunk? <laughs> For what it's worth, the G slur isn't used as an insult in either context. Still sucks, but they just didn't realize it was a slur and not just a word. Right, yeah, it's just they didn't... They didn't have the right language. They just thought, you know, like a lot of people, unfortunately, at the time did. A lot of white Americans at the time thought that was just, like, the term you use for Romani people. And now they know better. Uh... See, I talked about tips. I talked about the Discord. I talked about fan art. Um, I talked about Smunk. Uh, today, I pet my cat and she kept headbutting my nose. Hey Holly. Hi! It's been a while since I've been able to tune and live. I've never seen this game before, so I'm excited to see what it's all about. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm excited too. Thank you for the tip. And thank you, that Tanto, for that brand new sub. I appreciate it. Um... I feel like there's something I'm missing. I feel like there's something I'm missing, but I genuinely don't know what it is. Um, also, I keep noticing that frames keep dropping. That's unfortunate. Hopefully that doesn't keep up too bad, but I guess worse comes to worst. If it's like unwatchable, I can just not stream for very long and make up for it next week or something. Yeah, I reckon if it was, if it was important, I'll, I'll just remember it later. <laughs> Thank you, Jovial Jester of Jupiter, for the three months. That's a powerful name. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. I'm going to boot up uh, the game now. 
sequel comes out the day after your birthday? Hey, hell yeah, you'll love to see it. It always feels really special when um a game is released like around birthday time for whatever reason. Like, that's how I'm feeling about the Outer Wilds DLC. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a special gift just for me, just from the devs. They made it specifically for me. How nice of them. Uh, I have to boot up the video game now. Thank you, Blue Graves, for the bits. Holly, I've been so busy like wow and being back to see this will be a delight. Hell yeah. Let's go, Psych of Knots. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. I almost booted up Bioshock. That's the wrong game. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> Very different video game. Here we go. It, it sounds similar in cadence. Oh god, this intro is loud. Wow, that's like deafening. Okay. Uh, I had booted up the game earlier so that I could like fiddle with settings and make sure that things weren't too loud. Evidently that didn't apply to, um, to the, the splash screen intro. Thanks. <laughs> I don't understand why games do that. Psychonauts 2 is coming out three days after my birthday and it will be a special treat for me. Hey, hell yeah. Exciting. Thank you, Chum Personable, for the bits. I didn't realize this little, like, credits intro was here. I have never seen a Psychonauts, but I have Bioshock Tattoo, so I vibrated wildly when you almost opened it long ago. <laughs> played it on stream before, and I just missed it. I have not streamed Bioshock, no. I might. Uh, I played it, like, years and years ago. Um, I might replay it sometime. I, I've never played, like, 2 or Infinite. Uh, and I'd probably want to replay the first one before I do any of those, so... Maybe someday. No, like, immediate plans, but, you know. God, I feel that, Nami. The whole, like, oh, this is a game I want to play. Unfortunately, games cost money, and people like to spoil things about video games. This is fun, all these little names flashing across the screen. Unfortunately, you don't have to bother with Bioshock Infinite. No, I think I have to, unfortunately. I've heard it's bad. I want to see exactly how bad it is. <laughs> I haven't decided if I would stream it, though, but... <laughs> I want to see how badly it sucks! <laughs> unfortunately, I already bought it. And I don't think I can refund it. Thank you, Shrimp Toast 2000, for the 13 month resub. I appreciate that. So, this is Psychonauts the video game. You play as a little man, you live on top of a brain. Um. I've not really figured out why. So many people like this game because, like, as far as I can tell, it's... It's just this. Like... There's not really more to this. You, you you jump around on a brain. Like, you see the word Psychonauts. It it feels more like a tech demo than anything. Uh, I don't know. Kind of disappointed. Like, I know this is, like, a much older game. You know, limited hardware, limited funding, limited understanding. Uh, But... Like, there's not a lot here. It's just... It's a brain. There's some little guys moving around in the background. I'm just fooling. <laughs> the human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. 1,500 grams of complex oh, neural matter. A three-pound pile of trees. And I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age 
the psychic age are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Oh, Mori. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho knot, then you might as well be dead. <laughs> they told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen. Something's gonna happen, really isn't right. it? You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? Oh, that's a kid. It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Compelling. <laughs> Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Oh. <laughs> now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry.
Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. In this psychic dojo, they but here, under. I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. <laughs> do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. But now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. I just want to do surgery on the child. Nine, but I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. So, uh, I guess along with, like, the intro splash screen, uh... Wait, no, hang on. Unless this, like, just undid all of my settings because this is a new save file? Maybe that's why the, that cutscene was super loud? I don't know. Uh, either that or cutscenes are just gonna be super loud. Uh, I guess we'll... See? Anyway, this bunk is available. They did surgery on a dogen. Fucked up cycle knots, moments. No, they just- they want to do surgery on a Raz! That's not okay! This- this- this man just came in here and, like... Spindly, pale guy over here is just like, Man, this kid is strong. I want to cut him open. Like, bro! That's a baby! <laughs> Our character's name is Raz, so that's what we're gonna go for. Hello to myself watching the rod. Hi to you watching right now. Thank you for the bits. I'm not going to name him Roomba. His name is Raz. He doesn't need me to pick his name for him. see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! I like Coach Oleander. He seems fun so far. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. I'm liking this old man, too. Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. I like ranks. I like ranking. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these Psy cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a Psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? God, that is like... That guy looks so familiar. Extremely a child thing, just to be like, okay, so this is cool and all, but I have to become the government certified super agent, uh, and I only have a couple days, otherwise my dad's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> the writing in this game so far is extremely fun. Also, how's the volume, uh, now that it's like, actually listening to my settings? Is it, is it too quiet? Is it good? Um... I imagine it's not too loud. Uh, it's good? Okay, people are saying it's good. Uh, cutscenes might just be set to loud. Um, so, so you know, be mindful of that if a cutscene happens. Crank your volume down. Hopefully a cutscene doesn't immediately start with, like, fucking volume blast. Otherwise it's gonna jump scare you and me both. <laughs> 
Also, yeah, I saw someone mention it. I do really like how, like, immediately out of the gate, this game is just like, Oh yeah, by the way, this is a collectathon. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Change your camera preferences. Press uh, this button to open your journal and select options from the first page. Okay. I've heard that apparently changing camera settings doesn't work. Hey, Raz! Not sure why the grand you don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best cause ever! Woohoo! Save the animals and all that. Hi, I couldn't hear any of that because people keep sending tips and notifications during dialogue. <laughs> Raz learning all my two psychic powers before Dad comes home speedrun. Let's go. Speaking of speedrun, um, so oh, hang on. You're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. Hi. What's the rush? Um, some of us care about our education? That's good, I think. Hi. What's the rush? I don't want to get a bad seat. Hi. What's the rush? Well, you know what they say about slow rolling tumbleweeds. Gordon, I don't. No I've been a hot James. piece of rust every day of my life. I'm sorry to hear that, I think. I don't know who Gordon is, though. <laughs> Thank you for the tip, I appreciate it. Uh, speaking of speedruns, um, I had, like, booted up the game earlier. Thank you, Cadet Cassette, for the sub. Uh, just because I wanted to, like, fiddle with settings and see what, uh, the... See what the controls were like, make sure the video settings and audio and all that was okay. Um, and I was just like wandering around a little bit, pressing buttons, and seeing what they all do. And I like was up on this ledge and I was like, oh, cool, I can do funny jumps. Oh, I can do a midair uh, attack that slams me down. Uh, hang on, let me see if I can do it again. Oh, cool, this catapults you really far. Wow, that's really fun. And I was doing that a couple times. Um, just like offhand because it was a cool thing to do um and then i was talking to my friend puzz uh, shout out to puzz uh because she like speed runs this game and like apparently helps out with like some stuff in the psychonaut speedrunning discord and i was like so I, I found out this cool trick that you can do is this like is this a speed run thing and she was just like holly that's palming holly that's an extremely important technique in the speed run and i was just kind of like Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, now, of course, now that I'm streaming, I can't do it as, as well anymore, but... <laughs> Try hanging and swinging on these wood supports. Use left control stick to swing, press A to jump off. I found a loose side card. Uh, collect nine of these and you can build a side challenge marker out of them, but you'll need to get a side core from the camp store and a little help from Ford Cruller. All of these characters have very good names so far. Hip. Surfaces covered with netting can be climbed in all directions. Hip. Fun! Man, this is extremely a collectible right off the gate, and I'm kind of here for it. Okay, that wasn't the slope. I like, um... All of the character designs so far. Um, they're a lot of fun. All the names are really cool, too. Uh, I'm very excited to see people and hear what their names are and stuff. Uh, your first arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of titanium, a rare psychoreactive mineral, which makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp store and other places you find. Oh, so you can double jump to carry your momentum. Okay, that part I didn't figure out. Uh, I do like that, like, uh, a lot of your moves are, like, very bouncy and acrobatic. Like, this is just a thing that I think I've learned from, like, uh, hearing people talk about this game over the year, but, like, I, or the years, rather, not year. Uh, but I know that, like, Raz is, like, from a circus family. And so it's neat that, like, even before you learn that in the game, you've got this bit that's like, oh, yeah, like, all of these moves that he does, they're all, like, very acrobatic, kind of like that. Yeah, that tracks. That makes sense. I know, like, some stuff about this game, um, like, some, like, vague plot 
bits like that. Uh, I don't really know any specifics, so like I'm excited to figure that out. Uh, Starting a trampoline should give you some extra bounce. Nice. I love bouncing. I'm telling you for the last time, no. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars and all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. Don't trust squirrels. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. Squirrels are the monsters of the animal world, and they're not to be trusted. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. Hey, where'd the squirrels go? <laughs> hey, why were you readjusting your hat there, bud? Ah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm understanding now. You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Oh, this is extremely a shithead kid, isn't it? Oh. <sighs> Quit it, Bobby. I know that's you. Jerk. Quit it, Bobby. That has got to be the worst band name I have ever heard in the history of ever, of all time, ever. The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Huh? Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. And they'll get killed again. Bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah. Because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? And by worse, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe. And I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Uh, are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? <laughs> I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. Oh, no way! Anything. Last year you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like part of the show if we named the band the right thing. Oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, please. Would you please welcome... No. The Firestarters. Oh, man. <sighs> If we're gonna call it that, we might as well call it Burning Itch. What? Don't call it that. I kind of just want the game about these kids now. Hey, how's everybody tonight? You feeling itchy? I said you feeling itchy? Watch it, Quentin. Or what? You'll burn me? You know you can't burn me. You got a block. Well, that's Stupid why we're friends. Oh, no, you're right. That's why we're in a band together. Yeah. Oh. And why we should call the band the Levitators. Did you say heavy taters? Because that's what I heard. Levitators. Mm. Fire starters. Levitators. I would genuinely just play a game that's about these two and like them going on weird band adventures and like a running joke about how they can't decide what to call their band. Okay, this is nothing right now, but it might be something later, because it looks like something. I forgot to close this door. That's something I learned you can do is when I was testing earlier, is you can close that door. Uh, I also downloaded a, uh, like an alleged widescreen fix 
uh, I can't tell the difference because I've never played this game before, but, you know, hopefully that's uh, a thing what is good to have. There's a goodie here. I'm gonna be late to class. Uh, that's too bad, or maybe too good. Who's to say, really? Uh, I imagine Coach Oleander's to say, but... Can I get myself up there by doing a funny jump? No, I cannot. Okay. At least I can't with my skills. Whenever I play a game like this, I'm always hard-pressed to, like, figure out, like, whether I should start, like, engaging with the story right away, or whether I should, like, um, immediately just let, like, Collectathon brain take over and try and collect all the goodies I can. Thank you, Sophie Snake, for the bits. I never finished this game, but it was great. Love the kid brain, new squirrel gibbs. It's great so far. Um, they, I feel like they really nailed, like, the whole, uh, I am sewer surfing on this bench. Okay, sure. I feel like they really nailed the whole, like, this is a camp full of weird kids, uh, but also they have mind powers sort of thing. It rules. Like, it, it gets the whole, like, these are weird kids first and foremost instead of the, like, oh, by the way, they're super soldiers or whatever. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think they're listening. Sorry. Oh, um... I already did that. <laughs> Thank you, Wonder, for the bits. This is my favorite game about a real fake Saturday morning cartoon ever made. I hope you enjoy this funny looking game about trauma. Smile. Oh man, this extremely is like a Saturday morning cartoon type of game, isn't it? Now that I think about it. That rules. Thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. Uh, don't have to worry about getting every collectible during each level. You can go back and revisit areas later if you want to. Okay, good to know. Uh, I might still try anyways, <laughs> just because I'm like this. Oh, oh, let me off. Whee! Well, that's fun. Never donated to any streamer before, but they're my favorite one and are playing my favorite game, so how could I not? Hope you have fun with this game, Holly. Oh, that's very kind of you to say thank you, and thank you for the tip, I appreciate it. Me getting palm launches what down is, in, is it's it's easy. It's it's like you go on a slope. Well, it's easy to me, I suppose. Uh, let me see if I can like. Psychonauts is one of those games that I always it. wanted to play but never have. But I hope I can try it soon. Hope Hell yeah! First playthrough is great. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. So it's like it's a timing thing. Like you jump, and okay, that time didn't quite work. Uh, doesn't work always just because I am not super good at it, but. Um, like, I just hit the A button as soon as it starts doing, like, the whoosh down sound. Like, jump, attack, now. So, jump, attack, jump. Not quite. Uh, jump, attack, jump. Nope, not quite. See? Even I'm not super great at it. Because I've just started playing this video game. <laughs> But it's, it's, I'm treating it like a rhythm game, um, instead of as a platforming mechanic, and that makes it work. <laughs> oh, damn, I overshot at that time. I went too fast. <laughs> Sorry, Coach Oleander, I think you're very cool, but I have to do speedrun tech. There we go. And then, um... Jump up here. There's something back here. Can I get it? Can I get it? Yes. You can slide down muddy or slippery surfaces. Holy shit, that's 10 subs for Shackled Witch. That's very generous of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go down this way and see what's over here. We got a goodie. We got a goodie. We got goodies. Good news! You have enough side cards to build a new side challenge marker. 
Just buy a Psycore at the cap store and use Agent Crawler's special lab equipment to put the cards and core together into a new marker. Um, I am very obvious and very clearly have a type. I think that Agent Crawler is maybe my favorite so far. Uh, but I also really like um, Coach Oleander. He seems fun. I like, like, crotchety old dude characters. Um, and... Uh, the, the, the one woman that looked like a, she was off of a 60s p spy poster is pretty, too. Trans rights, Friday, transgender, pride, non-binary. Thank you, Sandwich, for the 15-month resub. I appreciate it. Uh, after class, of course. <laughs> also, I think Sasha's a freak, but, like, I mean that in a loving way. Mount this ladder and climb up. Unless he turns out to be, like, actually a freak, in which case, well, sorry, bud. Oh, that's how you open that. I'm learning. That's, that's fun that it tells you, like, oh, yeah, you can go get your upgrade now that you have enough of the things. But you should really be doing the tutorial level. Yep. And yet, here I am. <laughs> um... Can I make this jump? No, you cannot double jump off that. Okay, noted. I'm learning. I'm spending all this time learning here, uh, in, like, the starting area, instead of, like, actually learning in the tutorial level that's gonna teach me all the mechanics. <laughs> Which is fine. That's why they set all this up here. And let's go see what's over here. Um, in this one bit that I didn't slide down. Surfaces covered with netting can be climbed in all directions. Looks like it's completely frozen in a big block of ice. Whose fucking sandwich is this? What? How did Holly frozen solid. never played this game? How is it so far? Who put this fucking fridge in the middle of a cave? Who put this fucking fridge in the middle of a cave? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Also, thank you, Doomer Skeletor, for the bits. Um, I'm fucking loving it so far, but I've literally not engaged with any of the story outside of the opening cutscene because I've been too engrossed with how fun the platforming is. <laughs> Man, I've been like gustering and blustering for a little while now about how I kind of want to learn a new speedrun or learn a speedrun. After I beat this game, I'll just learn to speedrun it or something. That might be fun. Could be cool. Could be cool. Give me the goodies. Anything over hereabouts? Nice bird. Goodbye, bird. Anything over here? No. I reckon I can go on and. Wait, no, never mind. I was just as I was about to say, yeah, I can just go and play the video game. I find more goodies. Fire starters. These aren't respawning, are they? I'm not, like, getting the same thing over and over again, am I? These aren't, like, Mario coins or something that respawn? I think one of the reasons I liked Smile for me was it gave me a lot of the same feelings as Pykonauts. Pykonauts. <laughs> oh, the arrowheads do respawn. Okay, noted. <laughs> this game is a very charming art style, for sure. You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Was it you? Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more head. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. I love this extremely from Russia child. Nah. The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get! Okay, bye! Vandalizing camp property will result in immediate expulsion from the facility. Oh, okay. 
Polly is so hungry for a speed run that she almost ran claymates. Don't climb Mount Everest twice, Polly. You may perish. I might still learn how to speedrun claymates. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> First played this in high school. Hey, nice. This game had such a powerful effect on me as an artist and Oops. writer. I hope you enjoy the heck out of it. Completely missed what that text box said. I hope I enjoy the heck out of it too. Thanks for the bits. Uh... There we go. Ladder. I know a lot of artsy folks uh, that I know hey, are like, really into this game's art style. Shh, I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can actually, do about it. Actually, fun fact, you go limbo. The artist of Smile for Me is actually a fan of this game. It's how I found their work, and eventually Smile for Me, actually. D Psychonauts and Smile for me are intrinsically linked. Cool. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. I'm trying to listen to the dialogue, y'all. <laughs> Please. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing a bloody tear. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Your journal is a great place to see what you've done. Oh, that's a fun way to introduce this mechanic. Just like, <laughs> man, I hate this kid. Remind me to put bullying him on my journal. By the way, you have your own journal. <laughs> that's fun. And plan what you're going to do next. You can use it to save and load your progress, change your options, and there's a helpful map in the back. Press the pause button to open your journal. Like this. Let's save in game. Nice. On this page, you can see what you've collected in the current area. Make sure to come back here after you've collected some figments so you can look at them up close with the figment viewer option. Okay. This page shows how you're doing in the bigger scheme of things. Also, once you get your scavenger hunt list, this is where you'll keep it. Scavenger hunt? Oh. Side cadet rank, vaults cracked, arrowheads, emotional baggage sorted. That's fun. <laughs> this page automatically remembers what tasks you're working on. If you're ever unsure what to do next, come back here to jog your memory. Uh, once you've cracked open a mental vault, you'll store the memories you find in here. Come back and watch them as many times as you like. Handy map shows you the layout of the camp. Your position is marked with a triangle. Uh, the next place you should go is marked with a green crosshair question mark. Uh, if you ever feel like you don't know where to go, come on back and check out your map. This font feels very SpongeBob SquarePants video game to me. Uh, this map is SpongeBob to me. This map is SpongeBob to me. Try sliding down this handrail. Okay, I mean, I just got here, but... Hmm. Hmm. Can't reach that. And I don't get to see what that says because I immediately went past it. Beans. Raven Bonifort for giving that gift about to Moth Critter. Oh, I just realized what I'm supposed to do here. There's a tightrope. I am a fool. <laughs> I also didn't do the jump right. I am a double fool. <laughs> I didn't realize this was a walk acrossable thing. I just thought this was like set dressing. 
And I have no depth perception. I've never played a Sly Cooper game. Uh, I don't know what those are like. I know there's a raccoon in it. Or something. I missed it. Am I just not supposed to double jump there? Maybe I keep jumping over it because I keep misjudging the distance. What if I try it from sideways? There we go. No? That's also bad. <laughs> now the other kind of depth perception is fucking me over. Let's see. Okay. I'm lined up with it this way. There we go. I can do mechanics. I can do mechanics. You just found a Psy Challenge marker. Every time you find one of these, your Psy Cadet rank goes up. Rank up enough and you'll get new Psy powers. New power at rank 10. Okay. Well, that's fun. Sly Cooper and this game have the same composer? Ah, oh, neat. The reason I never played any of the Sly Cooper games is the same reason why I never played this when it was new, and it's that I never had the consoles that it was released on. Like, I didn't have a good enough gaming PC, and I didn't have an Xbox or a PlayStation. All I had was my GameCube, uh, an NES, a Game Boy Advance, and, like, a computer that couldn't really run games too well. I want to see what kind of goof stuff you can do with this ledge here. I cleared a lot of that. I guess we can just go up the normal way. That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> I like what you can do with ledges in this game. That's exciting. Press Y to talk. Seeing all in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's psyche, which is awesome. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make the game a little bit louder. Um, one thing that's a little bit unfortunate about the the port is that you have to use your mouse for the options menu, and um, like mouse acceleration is impossible to turn off. We'll try this little bit. Uh. They see Nall being a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's psyche, which is awesome. Awesome. Hopefully that's okay volume wise. They see Nall being a trance. Okay, so we're saying that for every single person here. They see Nall being a trance. Except for you? What? 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 Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Whoops. Sorry. You see no, you see no, you see Rass was just like. I don't know. 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 Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. You will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It'll be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Maybe I will explore a bit more. Just so I'm prepared for class. Well, maybe I will explore a bit more before. Just so I'm prepared for class. No hurry, no hurry. Enjoy your childhood before it's ripped away from you, son. <laughs> oh, here's the the space kid. Hey, Chloe. What are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. Chloe. I like Chloe's little bow tie. Whoa. How does it work? I don't have time to explain the technology to you. I think it's a radio. Hey, uh, Chloe? Go away, Raz, I'm working! Hey, uh, Chloe? Go away, Raz, I'm working! Hey, uh, Chloe? Go away, Raz, I'm working! Oh, 
Are you sure you wouldn't rather run up? I'm ready, sir. I'm ready, sir. Well then. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. Well, this cutscene's very quiet now. <laughs> I suppose that's better than being deafeningly loud. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. <laughs> a mental dentist office. A mentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. You ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Cause this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me sir, I'd like to chicken out please. Too late, soldier. But you said- There's only one way out of here, fighting. I, I want one of you chickens to sack me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Thank you, Redchester, for the bits. I like- uh, I said pop me! That's nice, sir. I was talking. I You're like. You're not gonna get another chance like this. I guarantee it. Okay, Coach Oleander, but do you mind? Um, I like that in like. Yo, Navy boy! Chicken of the sea. Come on, let's you go. You gonna punch him? No way! You do it! Okay, fuck it. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! I do appreciate that, uh, in games like this, especially when they're, like, ported to the PC, like, games with, like, super FMV cutscenes like this, like, you get to, like, what? the cutscenes... Sure. Uh, where they're, like... Charge! This kid is dead, by the way. It is so sad how it happened. <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed! <laughs> Called it! <laughs> Projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. They custom the Psychonauts game? I didn't know that kid was gonna die for what it was worth. I just. <laughs> I was just doing a joke. I thought it was gonna happen. <laughs> I, I, I do appreciate in like these kind of games where like you have the. The FMV cutscenes that are super like low resolution and choppy and low frame rate and bad quality textures, and then like you get to the gameplay and it's all like over 60 FPS, buttery smooth. It's wild. It's really funny to me. Move, move, move! I'm moving, sir. I'm moving. Uh, me double jump with a button. Thank you, Vector Clyde, for that eight month resub. Wishing that you would play Psychonaut forever, Polly. Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up. I mean, you interrupted Coach Oleander, but considering how he's been interrupting me while I've been trying to talk, I figure it's, you know, <laughs> an eye for an eye. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. When you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get that figment. Thank you, Corgi Pale, for that brand new sub. I appreciate it. Your first figment, collect 100 figment points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to a high enough rank, you will earn new psychic abilities. You can look at all the figments you've collected in your journal. Be a piggy piggy. Please don't call me a... Please don't call me that. I'm hating this, actually. <laughs> hey, you at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. I'm picking out! I'm picking out! <laughs> they say fuck in this game. I need the scheme of trunk tag for this guy. They do say fuck in this game. I need the scheme of trunk tag for this guy. I need the scheme of trunk tag for this guy. I need the scheme of trunk tag for this guy. I need the scheme of trunk tag for this guy. I need the scheme of trunk tag for this guy. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. I don't know what I have to do here. This is. This is too hard. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. 
I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. I don't know how to deal with this. It's too hard. There it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and get me funny right now. No, thank you, you sir. No, thank you, sir. Hard, son. No, I gotta Show do this first. Boss. Well, that was fun. Wait, hang on, is there a Devon chat? Did did I miss that? Oh no. <laughs> Hello, I'm enjoying this video game. I'm gonna climb up a ladder now. Although it wouldn't be the first time that people in my chat just all started saying, oh whoa, there's a Devon chat, there's a Devon chat, and they were just lying, but <laughs> Oh, I should have gone up there and gotten that one up on that wall. There we go. What's up here? Watch out! Fire down below! Oh, but I wanted to get the goodies here first. Suitcase tag. Hey, Sophie, with the raid! You're rich! Is that good? I hope that's good. Oh, I thought that was a figment. Dang. Sophie, with the resub! I'm rich. Congrats, I think! Thank you very much! I hope you had a wonderful stream today. It's game day, kid! It's game day, so we're gaming. Shark waves for the 15 month resub. I appreciate that. Oh, the fire hurts you, I guess. I'm learning so much about fire today. <laughs> this? This is stupid. It's game day. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Well <laughs> Bobby Delta's foot, that's what! You're stupid, new kid! Yeah! <laughs> oh. Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? <laughs> no. Bro, you just met this girl. Come on. Scary. Oh, hang on. I didn't want to go here yet. Hello, Holly. My friend just streamed this game a few weeks ago to help fund her top surgery. Oh, neat. I hope you have fun with this game. I'm having fun so far. Thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. Come on. One nightmare. Nope. Come on. One nightmare. Nope. That is a very good recording of nope. <laughs> Classified. Oh, no, no, That's what that says. Okay. Could just go this way, right? And then double jumps over. But what was in that classified row? <laughs> Thank you, Butler Kitty, for giving the gifts about to double fine. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see what's in here. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Ah, the platforming challenge. Let's see how uh, up to par my 3D platformer skills are. I've not played a 3D platformer in a while. There we go. 
Not so bad. I suppose it's only the first level, but. I just fell down. <laughs> Oops. Uh, what else have we got? got this upper ways bit here. We got goodies down here. Don't fall, don't fall. I did it. No, 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 I want that plane. I want that plane. Come back! Hey, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey! That's so fucked up. I wanted it. Am I gonna fall? No, I'm good. I had four to make up for one tip. I'm not sure if you've been told yet. Like basic grading, you can go find the other captors and see what they're up to. It takes a bit of effort to find them, but the side pops are his um, It's game day, kid! How do I get the plane? How do I get. Yeah. Nope, that just takes a bit. Okay, you really do just have to wait on that other one. Okay. Uh, but hey, I'm fine. I'm feeling great now. Get this one. Less waiting, more motivating. I'm waiting so patiently. Uh, no, that does go out too far. Okay. Maybe. There we go. So bad. Yeah, secret tunnel between Yo, like disconnected bits of land is very good level dead. design. Go. Cute little gas maskman. These figments are cute. I like the way they look. What's that? Oh, shimmy across ledge. Oh. oh, this is where I just was, wasn't it? This is the the secret tunnel. Yes. Okay. I'm like starting to recognize the space around me. I'm starting to realize I'm in a 3D space that I can navigate. Wow. Who would have thunk? Ah, oh, this is what it wants me to shimmy across. I see. Slowly, gently. Is your name Joey? No. No. Because I'm going to call you Slowy Joey. Okay. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear you. You're talking too slow. <laughs> Joey's a nice name. It's not mine, but it's nice. We got any goodies down here? Move, move, move! Hmm. Ah. You just absorb positive mental health. Maintaining your mental health is important because if you run out, you will not be able to maintain your astral projection in this mind, and you'll be kicked back into the real world. <laughs> the sad guy who I love to help. I love this song. The bag looks like a slob slab of ham. Onward and upward, soldier. Okay. Oh, that's fire. Don't touch fire. Anything over here? This looks like a hole, but it's really not, so don't fall for it. You can get tricked by a fake hole sometimes, I guess. Come back. Thank you. Whoop, tag. Whoop, I saw another one. It just whizzed by me. Okay. Mentalis Uberalis. I don't want to go through there yet. Wait. That's a pig. There we 
There we go. Uh oh. And then this one. There we go. Ah, okay, so you can like clip through the bottom of uh Trampolines. You're like molasses going uphill in January with crutches. Now that kind of wall, you can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it, quick, like a monkey. The figments are very cute. <laughs> Bye, fool! I frightened! I frightened! Watch those minds, kid. Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> nah, I'll... Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. I'll certainly try. Okay, so simply don't step on the mines. Seem too hard? I can't do it. I can't do it. What's wrong? Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. You got this, bud. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess I can do it. Alright, we're in the clear. Good work, bud. I can't do it. I can't... Bro, we're literally right there! <laughs> do it! Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow we're me. We're literally okay. right there! <laughs> Okay, bye. Bye! This is a psychic arrowhead. Its raw energy will contribute value to her arrowheads in small amounts, but I think you'll find they add up over time. Ah. I gotta go back and get that... Hockey player? No, that's a mind detector. I thought that was a hockey player. I'm a fool. Onward and upward, soldier! Let me get you. There we go. I think I got all the figments here. Looks like it at least. Uh -oh! oh, sorry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to give him a high five and I went for the high forehead instead. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, that's nothing, so let's do this. I think I might have skipped the dialogue about the, the flag by accident. To save your progress, press pause to open your journal, and on the first page, select... On and upward, soldier! Okay, might as well. Thank you, Minuet, for the tip. Hi. I haven't been able to come to one of your streams since around Bug Snacks because my new job has been killing me, but I had to come to this one because I love this game so hey, much. Hell yeah! I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. I hope job's been going well for you. I appreciate it. Uh, is there like a climax to this down, story? Soldier. Didn't it's I mention the glory yet? Hey, yeah. no one told me to pack a shoot. Okay, did Washington have started. a shoot when he crossed First, the Delaware? We went yeah. to the end yeah. of the street, yeah. and then we turned right, and then we turned a soft right, and then we turned a deep left. And then we took a side road. And then we stopped and asked for directions. And then Lady had to go to the bathroom. And then Lady saw a gopher. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. And then I bent down to tie my shoe. And then we walked three miles. And then we walked two miles. And then we walked four miles. And then we walked half a mile, and then we made a U-turn, and then we had a snack. 
And then we got lost for a while. And then we got attacked by beans. And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. And then we just stood still for a while. And then we turned right, and then I bent down to tie my shoe, and then Lady had to go to the bathroom, and then Lady saw a gopher, and then we got lost for a while, and then we turned left, and then we walked four miles, and then Lady had to stop and scratch, and then we got attacked by bees, and then we walked two miles. And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. Again? And then we walked three miles. And then we had a snack. And then we just stood still for a while. And then we stopped and asked for directions. And then we took a side road. And then we turned a soft right. And then we turned a deep left. And then we made a U-turn. And then we walked half a mile. And then Lady had to go to the bathroom. And then we walked four miles. And then we made a U-turn. One and thing then we took a side long stories that don't go anywhere. And then we turned a deep left. And then we got attacked by bees. And then we just stood still for a while. And then we stopped and asked for directions. And then we turned a soft right. And then we had a snack. And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. Three times in one day? That's rough, bud. While, and then Lady saw a gopher. And then we walked two miles. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. And then I bent down to tie my shoe. And then I gave Lady a bone. This was the predecessor to AI Dungeon. We're never gonna know how that story ends. That's fucked. Ah! Wow, that was like deafeningly loud. Why? Hey, look! It's Raz! Yay! Raz is here! Yeah! Maybe you'll be able to beat this darn game! We can't do it! Yeah, we're no good, and the coach won't open the gate until someone wins! Yay, Raz! Just punch that to start! Jump and punch to activate a button. Okay. I'm gonna grab goodies first. Duck! Now this area is loud, and I kind of want to turn the volume down. <laughs> Hang on a second. Uh... You like that? Maybe like that? Shut up, shut up, shut up! We'll never give up on you, Raz! Yeah! We're gonna keep cheering you till you win! Yay! Punch! Hooray! Punch, punch, punch! Punch me! You score enough points on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. I like that Raz just yelled at them to shut up, even though, like, all they did was say, you gotta beat the game, please. And that's it. <laughs> points needed 20. Time given 60 seconds. You won't receive any points for hitting babies. Punch, so don't punch, do it. Punch, 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 Raz, punch, 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 punch. Not so bad. That was easy. I didn't see a single baby. <laughs> I think they are dead. Wait, I can do this again? This is gonna be the rest of the stream now. 
Nope. That's funny, they have the same shape as the soldiers, just to trick you, trip you up. That's clever. Whoop! Figured I would hit one. Neat! Uh, points needed 30, time given 60 seconds. Isn't this just what we did already? No, wait, no, this is shorter. I see. And this is something like everyone in the world knows, but in games like this, the trick is you always gotta reset your position to the middle afterwards so that you can uh, more easily get to far away points. And I just keep missing anyways. So, like, is that it? Do I get something, like... Do I get something more for doing this repeatedly, or is it just arrowheads? Eventually you get a rank? Okay. Let's keep doing it. Penalized one point for missed targets and two points for friendly targets. Okay, do not miss. Do not miss. Uh, thank you for that sub. I don't know who it's from because I'm looking at guys. Uh, but I appreciate it. It's a baby. The baby. 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 Come on, come on. Give me the good stuff. There we go. Again. <laughs> no, I said again. There we go. Uh, 40 points, 60 seconds, one point for missed targets, and two points for friendly targets. Okay, uh, that was not always Carlos. Thank you for that resub. I appreciate it. Take a drink, and again. God, I didn't realize this game would have, like, mini-games like this uh, in it. This is gonna take me, like, a year to beat now. I'm gonna be doing all of these! Shit, missed one. appreciate everyone in the chat filling in for all the punch 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 <laughs> now that the, the people cheering me on were exploded okay uh 50 points 75 seconds one point for missed and two points for friendly fire Uh, this one's gonna keep spawning them far away, isn't it? Just to try and trip me out time-wise. We get the faster ones to trip me up with babies. Will not work. Oops, I missed one. Missed two. No, I'm out of the rhythm. Oh god.
Hey, nice! <laughs> hang on! Hang on! Hang on! Achievement unlocked! I love punching! <laughs> I mean, you're right, but... <laughs> I'm all done. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I'm excited to see more things like that in this game. Most people, they got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, and these tiny vaults in their minds. But the enemy is not allowed any secrets in wartime. Are they, soldier? So go ahead and bust open this vault. I got nothing to hide. Coomer achieved? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, Dr. Coomer liking to, like, punch things in the Half-Life Funny videos isn't a Dr. Coomer thing. That's, that's a me thing. <laughs> that's a thing that happened because I was playing him. <laughs> ah, good. Open up. Oleander's Pride. It was so nice of him uh, to bring this pride flag to war. It was so nice of him to surf on uh, this rocket? Torpedo? With an anchor? <laughs> and also to dive out of a plane? And also to heal sick children? I've I've got a bit of a feeling that maybe some of these are falsified or exaggerated. Um This one is real though. I firmly believe that Oleander went to war to fight for gay rights. I'm <laughs> You enjoy that. One of my favorites. To view this memory again, check out the memories page in your journal. Okay. Oh yeah, right, we're playing a platformer, aren't we? I gotta do platforming now. <laughs> I was... I was so, like, distracted by the punch minigame and the idea of Coach Oleander just being like, This is the only flag I'll stand and salute for! For, like, a... I don't know, a pride, some kind of pride flag that, like, I forgot we were playing a 3D collective on platformer. What are you? Beast? Beast? I saw someone say this game has so many old men for Holly to enjoy. Oh, nothing would make me happier. <laughs> I'm also loving this beast. This little guy can teleport you to any previously visit area in the current mental world. Just pick your destination and go! This guy's name is Oatmeal? Or is his- Or is his name Teleport Options? Because both of those are good names for a guy. Thank you, Teleport Options. You're my hero. The big man falls, live footage. Is there anything here I missed? I might as well check just to be sure. Nothing in there. Probably it. I can always just come back to this level, I reckon. Ah. Game is jump scaring me. <laughs> Apologies for the loud sound sometimes. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Bunnies! Oh, look at all these little guys. That's neat how they're all hanging around the emotional baggage, isn't it? I'm looking at the camera and winking, but not saying anything.
Oh, my health is low now, isn't it? Yep. Oh, uh, for what it's worth, please don't spoil things in chat, even if I know things. <laughs> Some folks watching don't. Thanks for understanding. Close. <laughs> Is there anything behind me? I can't tell. Uh -oh. Well, that doesn't matter. I can just go back and get him. I guess I didn't need to, like, lose all my health getting that, that, that baggage then. I could have just waited for the gun to go down. <laughs> Oh, I can use the ladder, can't I? Duffel bag tag. This is the world's... And I, I, this is on purpose, because, you know, they want you to go down here. So this is less of an, oh, haha, ha, weird, and more of a compliment to the level designers. This is the world's most ground-poundable area I've ever seen. Oh, hey, bud! You are going backwards. Have fun. Oh, what? Oh! Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's fun. This is Mario Galaxy to me now. Okay, let's save our game. And get blue graves for the bits. I love Gravity Rush 3. I've never played a Gravity Rush game, is that are they like that too? Pig. I've heard good things about them. But you know, never on the consoles and all that. Gravity Rush is the game that has gay people in it, right? Or is that just people wishing they were gay people? There is unfortunately a difference. Grab holes like that and swing on them. It's all about upper body strength, you know? Mm. Okay, you can change directions if you like. Let's change directions. Change directions. Let's watch out for fire. Let's not get burned with fire. Tuffle bag. I saw someone in chat say they just assume everyone in a piece of media is gay. Uh, I don't like doing that because I don't like giving people credit for work they didn't do. <laughs> I hate that, actually. What's this? Um. Hmm. Can I make this jump? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> well... I've learned. Uh, there's an indication in the VR game that Oleander might be gay or bi. I mean, he also was going to war to defend the bi pride flag, so good for him. <laughs> in, in, in all seriousness, no, that is, that is cool. Hell yeah. I've never played the VR game. I cannot play it because I don't have a VR setup. And so I don't know anything about it, except that it's about, uh... The dentist guy that we haven't met yet, or something. Which is neat. Jump! 
Okay, so... Now we grab onto this. No, that's not grabbable. I thought that was, um... I thought that was grabbable wall. It is not. <laughs> okay, it's a break down this wall. I see, I see. <laughs> Okay. Cobweb trouble? The camp store sells this handy device for removing pesky mental cobwebs. Buy your cobweb duster. Sorry, that's more of a salesman voice. Buy your cobweb duster today. Neat. Oh, I want to grab this weird looking bird. I'm loving this weird bird. Hang on, that thing was just flying through the ground. I want it. Come back. It's game day, kid. Yeah, but I want to get a goodie first. I want to get a goodie first. Yeah, we're already rank six. Okay. The goodie. I got the goodie. Whoops. No, no, no. I wanted to jump on top. Out type rope. A. Okay, and if I'm hanging onto it, I just press A. Okay, I see. I guess I was holding a direction that one time I wanted to jump on it. I see. Uh. The duck. War has a lot more ducks in it than I thought it would. I'm learning so much about fighting today. Anything up? No, no! <laughs> Oops. Oopsie doo doo. <laughs> I didn't die, I suppose. That's nice. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just do let's just do this fast. Let's pretend I know how to speedrun this and do this fast. There we go. And this time let's not stand on that ledge there and fall down. As you can see, the trapeze is very difficult. Is it? Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want to stay away from it. You still get a participation ribbon at the end of camp. Those kids are dead. Mentalis Uberalis! Well, actually, wait, no, I gotta come down here first. Um, and get the goodies. Well, I can't go in there, the poor, the poor thing. I'm hearing something screaming and crying. Where? I guess the tag is there, so... Buddy, where are you? Hey, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey! I guess I'll find it later. Presumably. Extremely a heem heem whimper type of beast. Oh, you're up there, I see. I come to help you now, okay? Press... 17? 12? To enter first-person camera mode, then move with the right stick to look around. What, what, what button is that? You're like None of the buttons. Oh, I, it's literally clicking in the right stick. It's clicking in the right stick. That's what it is. Interesting.
the world's most miserable beast, miserable no longer. All emotional baggage sorted. Good job! Now Coach Oleander has no problems! I'm a fool for trying to do that jump, but I had to. I do really like the little jingle that plays whenever you pick one of those up, it's fun. Oh, I just got a, a goodie, I guess. Sure. Man, Raz is zippy across these tightropes, isn't he? Where that plane goes. Coach doesn't seem less ruined. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Well, maybe you've got a point. <laughs> maybe you're onto something, actually. <laughs> but I suppose it's nice to dream. Uh, I would like that plane. I would quite like that plane. Yes! Okay. Uh. How do I get back there? Oh, oh here. Hey, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey. Pokey, like from Gumby? Was I missing another one there? Hey, kid. I think I see a silver dollar out there in that rail. Why don't you walk out there a bit and pick it up? I can't, I can't jump off the rails. Okay. Uh, I wanted to turn around and see if there was something I missed, but oh well. I can come back here some other time. I got it anyways for the, the webbing, so it doesn't matter if I don't get everything. Uh, left control stick with A to switch rails. Control speed with left control stick or use it to change rails when jumping. Okay. Ah, sucker. See you at the bottom. This is like Sonic Adventure to me. This is like Sonic's trick to me. Onward and upward, soldier! I missed one. Dang. I missed a bunch. Oh well. End of the line, sucker. Oh. Bye. Love you, teleport options. Teleport options, my dear friend. Teleport options is the perfect beast. Teleport oatmeal? Yeah, that's what I call digestion. I think Raz is gonna make it through that. Frankly. Uh. It's just tunnel. It's just tunnel. Go. Uh, don't slip. I always did like big spinning tunnels in, in platformers. It's a fun level design bit. Am I just going in a loop here? I'm falling is what I'm doing. I think I might have just been going in a loop. Let's look at this from far away. Uh... Hmm. Maybe I wasn't. I don't know. Uh... If I get stuck here for like two or three minutes, then I will realize I am just going in a loop. Uh... Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going. Uh. Just have to be a little more patient, I think. Not just, like, run super fast through this. Uh, wanting to run super fast through things is also funny enough why I always end up slipping on ice so much. <laughs> Not a great thing when, you know, you're living in a, a place that gets a lot of snow and ice, but we manage. Thank you. Hey, I 
got a first place trophy. Hello? Hello? Guess I'm early. Thank you, VHS Dreamer, for the sub. I appreciate it. This is the platform where you get awarded the trophy for being the best at war. Um, but it's not time yet. Sam Hill, do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. Nice. That's a cute little animation. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Never is. You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Ah. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Raz the Spaz is going to be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? I thought that subtitle said Benry. These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. Ha! <laughs> As is holding an object in his hand. To use a handheld object with someone, walk up to them and press Y. Oh, okay, so this is an adventure game now. Time to use every object on every person. You know where this button is from, Coach? Hey, you stole a button from the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber! No, I didn't. I... Bobby Zilch gave it to me. Should have known. That kid spends more time in the cooler than in school. Reminds me of myself. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna mute alerts because. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I I really appreciate the support, but also like it literally keeps happening when I'm trying to listen to dialogue. Thanks for understanding. Well, go put it back. Yes, sir. Hey, coach. Where is the G? Don't you know how to use your map? Right, yes, sorry. Bro, don't you know how to hit the pause button? Come on. God, this map is extremely like Spongebob to me. <laughs> Where's the g- There's the g- Nice. 
Sasha's, Sa bleh, Sasha's design is fun. It's like they designed the world's most angular man, uh, the world's most, like, squared off man, and then put him in the taffy puller. They done flattened him with the steamroller. What if the Matrix was made out of boxes instead of computers? That's him. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. One. <laughs> Come on, Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking just <laughs> okay i'm gonna start counting <laughs> just gone <laughs> i genuinely actually just laughed so hard that i felt like i was gonna pass out <laughs> <laughs> This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Man, you guys are good. <laughs> Come back, bro. Check this out. This button looks familiar to you? Oh, man. That's from the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. That reminds me of this time I was stuck in there for three days straight. The first ten minutes were bad, but then the second five were pretty scary. I was delirious for the three after that, and then... Hey, I think I see Elko over there. Where? <laughs> on sale now in the main store, we have a special on Dream Fluffs. You hear me? Dream Fluffs! They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. I love it when I have mental health. I hate it when I have mental ill. <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> I said it out loud and I was halfway through it and I was like, this is nothing. Whee. Moving in this game is fun. Hello, anybody here? Okay, so there's very clearly something up with Coach Oleander. Uh, which is fun. I do like him immediately being like, What were you doing snooping around? In my secret zone, Rez. What were you What were you doing looking in my secret mind prism where I keep all my secret mind ideas? And then Rez is just like, bro, I was looking for the way out, and he was just like, oh. Well, okay, don't worry about it. You gotta have a PS6 to know what's in here. And the PlayStation 6 isn't out yet, so you come back later. I'm gonna give you a trophy for being so good at war. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. I think this button is a clue to the location of Sasha 9's secret lab. Really? Hang on. I'll use my power of clairvoyance on it to see if he's got any ladies in there. Nope. Just Maloof. And he's crying. I've heard that's what happens to kids who go for Sasha's advanced training too early. Oh, now I'm ne oh. now I'm never gonna show you how to do this, jerk. Oh, I was really hoping it would knock your head into the hole again. Yeah. Now I'm never gonna show you how to do this, jerk. I was really hoping I could jettison that guy back into the hole. That kind of is just Austin Powers as a baby, isn't okay, it? Okay, call me crazy, but I have just got to sell more Psycores today. So yes, these prices are real. Here at the camp store, Psycores are just that cheap today. How do I get in there? How do I get in that hole? Oh, these are the canonical lesbians, aren't they? No passing, but I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. 
Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? I got like yeah. hundreds of these. It's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Kojoliander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Truffles? Again, you know, game's a product of its time. For better or for worse. Oh, that is extremely sliding down. <laughs> we're surfing, we're surfing, we're surfing. Synchronized trot away? That's just what happens when you're gay. Can confirm. I'm loving this slidey little cliff. Wait, 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 look, look! The concerned look, the, the like, the concerned look that Raz has looking at his token while he's sliding down, like, hmm, what is this? Let me see if I can find the slide spot again. Hmm. What can this object be? I must analyze it while I do cool slide tricks. <laughs> That'll never get old, I think. Hmm. <laughs> yep. I might as well get going. I just unlocked this area. I might as well go to it, right? Which character do you think is the best at oh, Counter Strike Surfing? Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. This guy. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get. This guy. Scavenger hunt items. Find eight items, and you'll be promoted four ranks. Find eight more, and you get promoted another four ranks. Golden acorn. Dinosaur bone. Dri diver's helmet. Eagle claw. Condor egg. Fossil. Glass eye, gold doubloon, fertility idol, miner's skull, cherry wood pipe, pirate scope, psychonauts comic number one, the fucking sandwich, voodoo doll, gold watch. So where do I? Hey, where'd he go? Respect, old man. Fun teleport. Get around so fast. I do like that there's this recurring trend of, uh, Ford just, like, teleporting everywhere! <laughs> Ford manifesting in front of me, trying to give me more fetch quests, trying to get me to buy things! In my restless dreams, I see him. That shopkeeper. Slash janitor. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot learn forever, bear. Hang on. Mikhail will find you. Good luck, Mikhail. How do I get uh that object out of my hands? Or in my hands. Is there a way for me to put an item in my, my little mitts, or is that just like a scripted thing? Oh, D-pad, okay. Uh, to pull out an item from your backpack, point to it with arrow keys or left stick, and then press A. To return to your backpack later, press B. Okay. Uh. Hey, I got this button from Sasha9 and I have to give it back. Do you know where his secret lab is? Do not know. Why not ask Foxy girlfriend over there? Again with the girlfriend thing. Listen. Hey, just kidding. If I know a woman good for only one thing, wrestling. Unless you have skinny arms, like your girlfriend. Then, out of luck. 
I was about to say, you had me in the first half there, bud, and then he hit me with the double whammy, and now I don't know how I feel. <laughs> You're right, question mark, but we'll talk about this later. <laughs> Mikhail understands. He loves a woman who can kick his ass, and he's right to. Me too, bud. What's this? Garbage can. I thought this was a TV. Uh, now it's... Remember to keep nothing. Up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Now it's nothing. Uh, I'm gonna get away from the scene of the crime. I also do think it's funny that everyone has just decided that, uh... We're, we're, we're dating this girl. This is our government assigned GF. This, this, this is a government mandated camp, right? For the government psychics? What just happened? Where did I just... Oh, this teleports you away from the, from the ledge. Okay. I see. Okay. It's a don't go out of bounds warp. Okay. Are you having fun there? Horrible beast? Awful animal? Do you derive joy from this? Does this please you? Does this please you greatly? You are scum. You are nothing to me. Oh! Sorry. I think they are dead. Uh, well? Fun, we got a little card! <laughs> Yippee! Parking lot? Let's go see what's over there. This game's got some good stock bird sound effects. It's that good stuff you like to hear. I'm liking this, like, notice board that's, like, eyeball-shaped and has a funny stick figure on it. No, I don't want to lose this button. I might not get into Sasha's secret lab without it. This is almost certainly Coach Oleander's, uh, truck, but I also like to think it's Milia's instead, <laughs> because that would be funny to me. That's a very tall car, also. Can I grab onto this? Can I grab onto this? Grab onto this. I feel like I can, but... Maybe not. There we go. Wait! There we go. definitely legal and definitely the way you were meant to do it. <laughs> what is this shape? Oh, this is a phenomenal beast of a car. Oh yeah, cars have alarms, don't they? Enough side cards to build a new side challenge marker. Uh, just buy a side core, blah 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 blah. It's fine. Let's leave the scene of the crime. They'll never know it was us. Why put the button away? Uh-uh. 
Hello? You heard Psy powers and Thought Bubble or press this to see what's in your bag. Back. How do I? Hang on, hang on. I'm confused about the buttons I have to press in this video game. No scavenger hunt items found. Uh, and it said I could view my 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 pin in here. Basic brain and merit badge for you, bullet journal. Okay, so I guess none of the others are here, so that's not what it means. So, man, these are reversed. Uh, no, pressing the cancel button just closes the menu. Uh, I don't want to crack open these smelling salts unless I'm in a mental world. And I really want to get out. They smell pretty bad. Oh, pretty bad. Oh, there we go. Raz has stowed the item in his backpack. To see what's in Raz's backpack and what merit badges he has, press this button. Okay. That's a fun little flip. They smell pretty bad. I guess that's the joke of the salts, is it smells you so bad it snaps you out of your psychic trance. It's cute. Who keeps putting all these cards in the toilet at Boyle? That's not where cards go, come on. Sooner or later, someone's gonna keep finding them, and that- and then that someone is me. Oh, now I can click on the boards? Oh, okay. I see. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Let's see. 500 years ago, enormous titanium-bearing meteorite strikes the Earth, leaving a giant crater. 200 years ago, native inhabitants begin making arrowheads out of the titanium, which they call by the name Whispering Rock. This is a rough English translation. 100 years ago, prospectors and settlers take over the area, naming their boomtown Shaky Claim. 99 years ago, first case of paranormal hysteria diagnosed in Shaky Claim. 75 years ago, Houston Thorny builds his home for the demented to deal with the insanity epidemic. 60 years ago, more residents in asylum than in the town. Houston Thorny commits suicide by leaping from tower. 55 years ago, asylum closes. Last Valley residents paid to leave by the federal government flood the crater to prevent further habitation. Lake Oblongata is created. Five years ago, Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp founded to nurture and train future psychonauts. Last summer, I got to first base with Elka Doom, signed Nils Lutfisk. Good for you, bud. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Let's see. That's it. I got an achievement for it called a slice of history. 500 years ago, Enormous titanium-bearing meteorite strikes the Earth, leaving a giant crater. I wonder if the coach has a little jetpack or something to help him get in and out of this thing. Okay, it is the I wonder coaches. if the coach has a little jetpack or something to help him get in and out of this thing. Let's go talk to the other car, then. Or maybe the door. This is probably just going to be the rest of the stream, is me just talking to, like, all these objects I can look at. Nope, that's nothing. Let's go talk to this weird car of lumps. This weird bump a lump car. This must be Agent Vodello's car. This must be Agent Vodello's car. I hope they don't make a cars for. Goodbye, cruel camp. I'm tired of being picked on by Bobby and all the mean kids at camp. If I just had one friend here who was nice, then I would stay. But you're all mean and no one stands up for me, so I'm going home. I'll be in the parking lot waiting for my dad, so if you want to pick on me one last time, you better hurry. Maloof. Just an update for everyone. Nils and I are still broken up, and no matter how much he begs, I am not taking him back. Also, you should know that my new boyfriend doesn't like being called JT anymore. His real name is James. Sincerely, Elka. 
<laughs> if anyone talks to the squirrels, they shouldn't listen because the squirrels are a bunch of stupid liars. Dogen. I like all of these kids and their, like, weird summer camp kid drama. This is fun. Great deals in the main lodge store. Drop by for great prices on dream fluffs, psychors, and more. All available for just a few pieces of Cytanium. Poor Maloof, though. Band practice today. In the main lodge. The levitators will be jamming this afternoon. Please come by if you'd like to try out for the band. Warning. If I find out who's been biting holes in the bottom of these canoes, then someone is going to get paddled. Admiral Crowe. Someone's been eating canoes? Bro, that's not good eating. Come on. <laughs> Update. The levitators have broken up. However, there will be a practice session of the fire starters today in the main lodge. We are looking for someone who can play rock flute. Come on by and try out. <laughs> by the way, the band has broken up, but good news, the band is now back together under a different name. I love the band, kids. Lily. If you're looking for me, I'll be down by the lake today. The fish seem a little upset, and I'm going to see what's wrong. But don't worry, I'll still do your homework for tomorrow, if you want. Elton Fur. Security cameras have been installed, and the next kid who jumps on my car is going to be very, very sorry. Coach Oleander. Oh. Uh-oh. Hey. Clem and I just wanted to say that everyone did great in basic braining today. Give yourselves a hand. Woo. Love, Crystal. Man, she dotted every I with a puffy heart. <laughs> I have so much respect for you, Crystal. And I just wanted to say ditto to that. Double ditto, in fact. Your friend, Clem. And I just wanted to point out Vernon. Oops. Frankie totally has a crush on you. She is Hit warm that for your form. Signed, Anonymous. That's a scary thing to say about a person. Warning. The abandoned mental institution across the lake is not Psychonauts' property and not safe for children. Canoe access has been blocked off. But please, for your own safety, children, do not try to find another route. Love, Mia. I think if someone told me that they were warm for my form, all of my skin would immediately peel itself off of my body, uh, and uh, all of my meat would instantly dissolve. Uh, all of the muscle and organs in me would instantly catch on fire, and I would be not but bones. That's foul. That's foul. Hey, if anyone sees Frankie, could you please tell her I'll be waiting for her by Makeout Cave, Vernon. Greetings, pan-galactic travelers. I am currently developing a new vehicle for intergalactic travel. Flight tests are being performed at a remote location in the woods. Hope to soon be visiting you in person. Thanks for the messages, Chloe. Goodbye, cool camp. I'm tired of being picked on by Bobby and all the mean kids at camp. If I just had one friend... Yeah, that's it. That's all. Uh, unless there's different ones here. Just an update for everyone. Nope. Okay. Yep. In that if case, we can find the one we missed. Um. The band practice. Warning. Update. The levitate lily. If you're looking for security... Hey. Clem and I just and I just want and I just wanted go. to point out in case you didn't know that Crystal's last name was Snagrash. Crystal Flowers Snagrash. No joke, Bobby Z. Okay. <laughs> no, Pan Galactic means like across the galaxy. Uh uh. Different kind of pan. It could be Welcome both, though, if, I guess, if you want. Rocket underground rapid transit That's not what they mean. System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kreller? Or somewhere else? Uh... I'd just like to come down here to hear your voice, I guess. Nowhere. I'd just like to come down here to hear your voice. Pop in any time, sir. It's a very nice voice. Uh, it's a very smooth and easy listening type of voice, uh, and I do like listening to it. Why did you design your secret cross camp, like, train lift system to have a sexful voice? <laughs> Why did you do this? <laughs> Why did you do this?
What's up here? fast you can go over these. What's up here? What's up here? Hey, it's a rank up! Uh, we are at, like, rank 9, which is cool. Oh, I fell. What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Is the friends in quote marks because they're gay, or is the friends in quote marks because they're mean and don't have any friends? <laughs> I suppose it can be both. Hey, is that my name on that one? Not unless your name is Frankie or Kitty. <laughs> oh, I guess I saw an R and, and an A. What's your name again, kid? Spaz? My name's Raz. Well, Spaz, why don't you go bother someone else? Bird. Can I ask you guys a question? Mm -hmm. No. Where'd you get your clothes? Because my sister, she's kind of fat. She has so much trouble finding good stuff. What? Wow. I said, do you know where Sasha's secret lab is? Why don't you go talk to someone who likes you and leave us alone? Wow, okay. <laughs> Where'd you get your Look, I got a button. Can I join your little craft club? Hey, look, I got an ugly face. Can I join your ugly club? Uh, Frankie, let me handle the insults, okay? <laughs> All of these kids are so fucking sassy to each other. Hey, if you were going to make a friendship bracelet, you could maybe use this button here. Why? So you could unbutton it and take it off when you got tired of being friends with me? Ouch. Who said you were making it for me? Uh, you know, if you were going to shut up, you could use that button on your lip. How about that? Jeez. Oh. Hey, if you oh, this watch. is the same one. Okay, whoops. Uh, put that away. Hey, Lily, do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha Nine's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. I do like all of the kids. Like, I do like Raz just constantly being like, Hey, do you know how I can get to the secret lab? And literally everyone without fail is like, Raz, this isn't a secret. Raz, it's, it's right there on the map. Raz, it's printed in big, bold letters. This is the laboratory that you can get to. Rez. It's right there. What's in here? Ah, band practice. Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. Sorry, 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 my bad. Not to worry, my bro. Let's just pick it up from the part where I do that thing. Do over. Two, three, four. This is fun. I like the two different band names on hey, the, Phoebe, can <laughs> the drums. Can I ask you a question? What? Have you ever had a weird nightmare about a bathtub? Is this a joke setup? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Good, because if you tell one more drummer joke, I'll plant this stick in your eye. I don't know if that's just meant to be a bit of joke dialogue or if all of the kids are yeah, having weird nightmares. <clears throat> Ask not for who the cowbell rocks. The cowbell rocks for thee. I guess it could be both of those things. Wait, oh, wait, 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 stop. Oh man, is it me? Am I off again? No, foot cramp. Ow, hold on. Uh, 
Okay, let's go. Hey, you guys are good. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad. And completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. You know what? You hated that part? <laughs> it's like you're reading my mind. Hey, you're not, are you? You're not supposed to. Relax. There's nothing in there I don't already know. <laughs> Whoa, that was good. Oldman detected. It's like we're the best band ever. Oldman detected. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not going to be done for a while. Maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> so, what do you want? I like the calendar there. It's cute. Duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs, and you can turn them in for psy cards. I can't afford that. Ah, it doesn't look like you got the rank you need there, kiddo. And there's no excuse for that. Plenty of ways to get promoted around here. Collecting mental pigments and cobwebs helps you rank up. So does finding side challenge markers or building them out of side cards and cores. You also rank up when you sort people's emotional baggage. And if you want to skip a bunch of ranks at once, well, you should talk to the camp ranger about his scavenger hunt contest. Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind. With I wonder you. who you the camp ranger up. could be. I wonder how we could the find them and talk to and the camp ranger about the scavenger hunt. Cards. Hmm. And with that, you can change the color of some of your side powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of oh, a cute. vanity thing. You know, in my day, Psy Powers were all gray, and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have Psy Powers. Ah, but you know kids these days. <laughs> I love his crotchety old man. Ah, now here's something every young Psy Cadet needs. It's... It's a magnet. Oh, it tracks mental health and other useful psychic energies. Okay. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Huh. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. Interesting. Now, you take that side core there, put it together with nine side cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new side challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. I'll buy one of these. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Now, you take that side card I'll buy there, another one of these. Sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you for? Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. I'm gonna go everywhere without a pocket That's full of those. Alright, go get more airheads and come on back. Okay. Support your local merchants. So, uh... Did that, did that, did that level me up by buying those? What's, how do I check my level? It's, uh, rank 9 out of 100. Uh, I have two Psy cores. I redeem these with Ford. Um, do so, do I just, like, talk to him hey, where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. I just wanna... Don't push me, son. Okay, so you talked to him in another place. Okay. Now, now that... Dowson Rod so I can't get this yet. Oh, that's rank 10. Never mind. Can... Alright, go get more airheads and come on back. Okay. Support your local merchants. Isn't there a kid sitting here? I thought there was a kid sitting here that I can't I saw. Let's Hey, just pretend this is a lighter. It's red. Pretty inspiring. What do you have to say about my- wait, wait! This is the button that Sasha gave me. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. Come back! I saw you use powers!
I see. He saw me. You saw me from behind. Okay. Noted. What luck! They're playing my favorite episode! <laughs> this bit coming up is my favorite bit. <sighs> Love that part. Nah, nah. That's not making the reception any better. Careful! Read. Read, 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 read. Y'all in chat like reading? What kind of books y'all been reading lately? I've been uh, very slowly chewing through uh, the uh, Kurt Wallander series of mysteries. Uh, wow, we have like no speed here. There we go. Uh, by by uh, a Swedish author, so apologies if I get the name pronounced wrong. Uh, Henning Mankel? Henning Mankel? Something like that? They're neat. Uh, it's, it's, it's very much like a sad dad detective solving uh like violent crimes and wishing his relationship with his daughter was better uh type of books but like i think those could be fun so i read them uh i've also been reading like a discworld every now and then because discworld rules uh i've got to get like more of the books i've got like 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 what's his name uh terry pratchett is like one of my favorite authors of all time I don't own all that many Discworld books, so I gotta get more of them. What was the most recent one I read? Uh, it was... Um, it's it's the one about the guy who gets... Um, I don't remember if he got like hired to replace Death, or if he just kind of accidentally ended up taking Death's job. Uh, Mort! That was it! It was Mort! I love that one. That was really good. Mort was real good. This world's good. A lot of good books out there. Reading's good. Uh, let's look at a map. Secret Labs, that is. Okay, but... I kind of want to go back in the tunnel. Wow, I just like bunny hop for a second there. Huh. Where was the, the hole to get it? Here it is. There we go. Where you, Agent Crawler? That... <laughs> that... That... That voice line was broken. It was just... Where you, Agent Crawler? <laughs> that wasn't a word. <laughs> when you, Agent Crawler? Let's go to Ford's... I mean... My sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. That fucking feeling when you agent crawler, am I right? <laughs> There's even a stump down here for the for the railway, that's cute. Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. But they're true! Uh, what are you doing here at Whispering Rock? What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. Ha! 
What's the Citanium? What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. So it's wizard metal from space that gave people wizard powers. Uh, gave wizard powers to people that already had wizard powers, rather. Uh, but just couldn't use them. Uh, it's Phazon, but a Phazon only worked on some people. Uh, and instead of the space pirates doing things with it, it's the U.S. government, question mark. I'm, I'm assuming the Psychonauts are like a U.S. government branch. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. <laughs> Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Our secret identity is safe with me. Gave wizard powers and or overload the brain? I mean, that's that's just what wizard powers are. That's just how wizard powers work. You get the ability to shoot a fireball, and suddenly you're like, man, I can shoot a fireball at fucking everything, you know? So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. Oh. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway <laughs> inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. That's fun. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have, like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. It's enrichment for old men. <laughs> the logical opposite of smelling salts. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Wake and bacon is good. Store, they Thank you, Rose. a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The dust stores the cobweb psychic energy on the real world side. So you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, <laughs> and we'll kick out a bona fide side challenge market, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? I got it. Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. All right, kid, you look marketable. Would you like to use my funny machine and maybe spend some of your money? That's a cute little animation. Nice. I still need 
need to buy a side core at the camp store before. Oh, that gave me both of them. Okay. Side challenge markers. And hey, Grandpa's in the corner of my screen now. Uh, I'm still thinking about the fucking bacon for summoning this guy. I I love him just being like, well, kid. I'm gonna be following you around, rooting deep in your noggin, making sure everything's going okay for you, but you ever want to talk to old Ford Krella? Well, I've got this bit of this, this very advanced device for you here. You just take this with you wherever you go, okay? This is a slab of raw meat. Sure is. You take that sucker out, I'll be running around on all fours howling. Ooh-wee! Pop right out of that sucker. <laughs> Summoning Ford Kruller just to talk to him. And he busts out of uh, my, like, ear or my eyes or whatever, and I'm just like, Hey, Ford, I, I've, I've got a question I gotta ask you. And he's just like, Not now, sonny. Papa needs his raw meat. <laughs> he's just eating a slab of raw meat. <laughs> Holly do Invader Zim? I've never... Well, no, I've seen one episode of Invader Zim, the, the Christmas episode, and that's literally it. And I don't have much interest in watching it, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna bake it. I thought something like that would happen. <laughs> it's it's the one episode of Invader Zim I've seen because they didn't play it um very much on um like my local cartoon networks like like in Canada like YTV allegedly aired it but like they barely ever played it except for like late at night uh except for the Christmas special which they like aired every Christmas without fail um at like I don't know some afternoon or time slot so like I always saw it because it would always be like okay well we're done doing with Christmas stuff for the day uh and I'm like tired of playing the new video games I've got and playing with the new Lego I've got I want to watch some 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 cartoons with with my family and so like without fail the Invader Zim one would always be on every year and so I've seen it like maybe only three or four times because like I after I'd seen it twice I was like I don't really want to keep watching this um <laughs> And even then, I barely remember it. I don't know, there's like a song where they're like, bow down to Santa or he'll step on you. And then at the end, they're like, oh shit, no, it's Santa, he's back, he's gonna kill us all. Ah! Or whatever. Invader Zim's not really my thing, but, you know, I, I know some folks like it. So, there's probably something there that's good, even if it's not for me. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyro Kinesis. Nice, let's burn shit. Nice. Cool. I can't wait to burn. Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind. Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Oh, cute. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. <laughs> oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. Oh. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? <laughs> I do appreciate Fort just being like... Okay. Just being like, what? Lessons? Talking about your past? Nah, kid, none of that's fun. We're gonna set stuff on fire. Can do it. Great, great. Now... Burn. I didn't train you in that, so you could set me on fire. Now knock it off! <laughs> I had to try it. I had to try it. I didn't train you in that, so you could set me on fire. Now you're getting warmer. Keep going. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. 
<laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this fucking okay. this dippy and play play type of beast just on its little cart. <laughs> this boo boo block of wood. You can do it. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, yes. that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. I love you, Ford. I promise. <laughs> and if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, game is good. Game is good. Also, thank you, Mar, for the resub. I hope you're doing well today. I didn't train you in that, so you could set me on fire. Now knock it off! Now Raz is on the chair. Ooh. Yeah, that is 100% the type of line you have uh, if you have accidentally blown a woman up before. <laughs> Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Uh... Main lodge. Me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? Oh, computer, love burger. I'm enamored with the idea of, like, someone designing a computer system. And, you know, having, like, your standard stuff, your, your CD drive, your, uh, your, your Bluetooth-enabled stuff, your, your headphone jacks for analog audio, uh, your USB drives, uh, and then just having, like, a very wide, but slim slot, uh, with just, like, hamburger labeled above it. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm warm enough in my thick Russian Oh, cute. You can do it to anyone. Time to go set my probable love interest on fire. Is this how you tell girls you have a crush on them? It's annoying. Fair. Oh my god, you can burn the birds! That was a total accident. Yep. Dinner. So far out of reach. Mm. Delicious, delicious skybird. That's good eatings. Good eatings. Stop trying to burn me, creep. I think that's a reasonable reaction. <laughs> I love them. They they're great. Sea rations. Sea ration stands for crashins. Short. Who you call it short? That man has two teeth. Oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought something like that was gonna happen. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> right on, Raz! You learned fire starting. Good for you! <laughs> Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Uh, what? Writing cheers! Oh yeah! Writing Raz's voice was coming out of her mouth. Cheers! <laughs> Wanna hear one? Uh, okay. Ready? Okay! When I grow up... Hey, what's 
you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best, just like my main homie. And when you say homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind reading psycho thriller. Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah, Raz! Oh, no, Raz! Oh, yeah, this is extremely a rub, Paulson child. How about another cheer? Okay, you start, Clem. You know Raz is the coolest. The master psychic duelist. Bad guys tried to snuff him. So he beats him like a puffin. Yeah, Raz! Woo! -hoo -hoo! Oh, God. That's so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> puffin? <laughs> what was I thinking? Hey, hey, Crystal. It's okay. No, I'm so stupid. So stupid. <laughs> I think that's all the cheers for now, okay, Raz? Yeah, hey, sorry. I don't think I want any more cheers. <laughs> Yay! Fire starting practice! Woo! That'll cheer her up, right? I don't think I want any more cheers. Hey, I'll bet you can't write a cheer about this red button. Oh no. Wanna bet? You are on! Red button is the best! It fastens up my vest! If it breaks like the rest... The boys will see my chest! Yeah! Woo! Go Raz! Woo Immediately back to crying? No, she's good now! She's great now! I don't think I want any more cheers. Look, I made her happy! I fixed her! I just noticed the big smile on that sun. That is a happy sun. <laughs> Raz really just walked up here, took out Sasha's button, and was like, I can fix her! What? What? That didn't seem right. That, that didn't seem right. Hang on. That was a fun animation. I love when video games do stuff like that. Burn? Literally burn. Enough of you. What's back here? A goodie? The fact that this is making a thumping sound leads me to believe this is a bombable wall. But, um... <laughs> Thank you, Big Challenges, Dan, for the tip. I'm glad you enjoyed Toiler at Boil. <laughs> I know I sure do. Good evening. I'm having fun just wandering around, but I'm not sure how much more I got in me for tonight. Oh, I just teleported out to my hell, to my death. Um, what time is it? Like nine o'clock? I might go for like a little bit longer. I think we'll find where uh, where Sasha is, and then I'll probably uh, wrap up for tonight again. Not a super long stream, but, uh, that's okay. It happens sometimes. Turn around and then take a right. Okay. Some of the Psychonauts SFX sound a lot like the Q popping noise in FF14. Ha! <laughs> that's funny. Do they? I'm not noticing that myself. But also I am fully in the mindset of playing Psychonauts and not Final Fantasy, so I guess I'm not feeling the effects. There we go. This is, I think, the wrong area? Oops. Yeah, this is the wrong area. Okay. But I'll still check it out. Looks cool. Cave. Yep. Raz just shouted yum. Yep. 
crow feather. I saw something sparkling up there. I saw something sparkling. Saw him gleaming in the moonlight. Saw him in a dream once. I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm so full from Psychors! Yum! people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. Bro, you can't I just smell people like this. I creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> Everyone is very sassy in this game. That's kind of fun. It feels it feels very much like mischievous kids. Also, got him. Also! Yeah, pretty nice, I reckon. Yep. Nine. Verboten. Oh, I get it. His name is Nine. Like, no. I'm understanding the joke of his name now. I'm understanding the joke of his name now. It's... 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 his name is No. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm Heidi. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend, James, staring back. And he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly. And anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's going to explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. <laughs> James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. <laughs> hey, Elka. Hey, Nosy, how about pulling your big beak out of our private business? Huh? Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, not fair! Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Nils? Hey, Dogen! Nils. Just that again, okay. Hey, what did he... Uh... Hey, look at this button I found on Nil's bunk. It looks like it came off a girl's dress. <gasps> I don't care. <laughs> looks like it was just torn off by force. I don't care. It's got little teeth marks on it. Get that thing out of my face before I shove it in your eye socket and sew it to your brain! Nels kisses girls on the mouth and likes it. Why don't you just take off your hat and kill me, Dogen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's got get. <laughs> I don't know. Mills.
You good? Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. Awesome. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh man, cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Nope. Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Boolean oh. dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! Bro, you've got to teach that kid wrestling so that he can deal with little Bobby shithead. Hmm. Looks like one of the buttons is missing. Ah. How unfortunate. It's too bad there's nothing we can do about it. Yum. Yum! A psychic bear. I love you. You're my new friend. I wish psych psychic bears were real so that I could be their friends. If psychic bears were real, they could read our minds and understand that we want to be their friends. So, uh, that's good. And I can see no way in which it could ever go wrong at all. Um, it has zero downsides. No problems here. Uh, and if I'm wrong, it's just my opinion, so you can't get mad at me. I have to complete the jumping challenge and get all the goodies. Hi, you're a bear. Hey, mean to me. Come on, I just want a card. See, I'm just getting a card. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I love you. You're coming closer. <laughs> you are coming closer. <laughs> Turn to your nut hole, I see. Okay, so we gotta be fast for that guy. I can't set him on fire. Noted. Let's do the thing I said I was going to do. Fun fact, bears have legs and a back, therefore they classify as chairs. It's... I don't think it's quite that way. It's like, you know, how a, a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle isn't necessarily a square. Like... A chair is four legs and a raised surface, but four legs and a raised surface isn't necessarily a chair. Well, I mean, you could sit on a bear. Which means you could use it as a chair. It's just... Would it be the most effective chair? Debatable. Would it be... Um, advisable? Why don't you find out? Uh, d disclaimer, this is a joke. Parody, parody, parody. Please don't go sit on a wild bear. Please, I'm begging you. Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Mmm, bacon. 
He really does come crawling out like a fucking wild animal. He's like a slug. Agent Kruller, do you have any advice on the current situation? Well, if you're up for some experimental training, you should go see Sashi in his lab under the GPC. Should be marked on your map. Nothing more to report at this time. Crawler out. Well, I'm glad I did that because that rules. <laughs> This is the button that Sasha gave me. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. Huh. The device. <laughs> That's a good laugh. <laughs> Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. Welcome to Box Stage! I guess it makes sense that the world's most cubicle man would live in a, a place of squares and rectangles. This is hell if you like round surfaces, but if you're into angles, oh buddy, have I got the lab for you. <laughs> Brutalism 2. So what are we going to learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? Well, I already know how to burn stuff. Ah, yes. Thank you, Rasputin, for helping me clean up. Oh, I didn't realize I actually set something on fire. That was an accident. Sasha 9 specifically doing a Minecraft Let's Play. And also... <sighs> Fuck, there really are so many Minecraft Let's Plays where episode 1 is just called The Adventure Begins, and it's really goddamn funny. Also, I like that the only thing he said to us so far is the fact that, um... We set something on fire. Uh, someone remind me, uh, I'm not gonna remember this, and you don't actually have to hold me to this, but, uh, when, when, when Sludge starts, when the SMP starts, someone remind me to name my first stream of that, The Adventure Begins. <laughs> I'm committed to the bit fully at this point, and I'm not gonna remember that I am. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering- Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain the tumbler. The tumbler. Could you try it first? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. That's that's not a no, but it's also not a yes. Is this gonna hurt? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Just, again, the, the lack of straight answers here, bud. Will I get in trouble with Mia? She told me not to take any paranormal training while I'm here. Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. That's a yes. I know that one's definitely a yes. Is this gonna hurt? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. <laughs> I like your pile of books. Let's tumble. So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. So it's you the world select hub. You have just your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Okay, so this is just the level select hub. Okay. Also, something something 
brain tumbler. That's what I called it when I started using Tumblr at the end of high school and thought that it made me smarter than other people. Is this anything? Is <laughs> Are you laughing yet? <laughs> Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind. But I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a rundown gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. <gasps> my friend! My friend is back! It's my good friend teleport options! Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. Wait, not what yet. What do you see inside? There we go. I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Oh, this is a cool effect. Uh-oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Aha! That's like an egg! We got egged. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! Oh, the little hearts around it. Oh. friend teleport options is here too if you stay in the egg for longer he is increasingly panic dialogue about being claustrophobic oh poor guy I get goodies I get goodies and a purse tag I thought I was hearing something bad from out there but no it was just idle bird sounds it's a goodies here uh, lots of thorns and raw meat. This game really likes its weird meat, doesn't it? I know there's an entire level called Meat Circus that people hate, and I'm excited to see why. <laughs> Someday. Ah, the bad guy. Gone. I think it's like one of the last levels. I think. Uh, you don't have to answer that. Stop running away from me! Come back, bird! I want the bird. I want the bird. I got the bird. There is a lot of meat in here. There was also meat in 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 Coach Oleander's war zone. So I'm inclined to think this is some sort of presence causing the meat to happen. Which is uh scary. Steamer trunk. Bunny wants us to follow. Uh, Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Let me guess, the pulling uh, won't work. Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else. Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Oh no, the pulling worked! Diving helmet. Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Interesting. I 
I'm sure you could find a more productive use for that skill, Rasputin. Rasputin, please. Chur, Rasputin, Rasputin, please. Chur, Rasputin, 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 please, Rasputin, 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 please, Germs. 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 Rasputin, I'm so hungry for microbes and little viruses. Please, I'm opening my mouth. You have to feed me. Rasputin, please, Germs. Rasputin, please, Germs. There was a psychic accident and it removed my normal stomach. I can only eat. I can only eat plankton now. I can only eat single-celled organism. Rasputin, please, Germs. I'm so hungry. Rasputin, please, Germ. Rasputin, please, Germ. Rasputin, 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 please. There's that smell again. How come he doesn't want my germs? Need your analysis on a hostel. What kind? Did you know that this camp has a bear problem? Oh, not just any bears, but bears that have been mutated by Satanium. Now they know telekinesis. When you see that TK claw come out, you have to dodge it quick. And saw blast those bears from a distance, or set the tails on fire. You can set a bear on fire if you want, but why would you want to? Have you ever seen a plant with eyes and teeth? Oh yeah, the kind that's impervious to attack when it's curled up? Hate those. You gotta walk up just close enough to wake them up and then... Saw blast them real quick! You ever seen a plant with eyes and teeth? Yeah, all the goddamn time! It's real weird. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up how often it happens. You've been very helpful. That's all I need. Good luck. Jones. Rasputin, please. Germs. Rasputin, please. Germs. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The voice actor for Crawler is the voice actor for Varix from Destiny? The voice actor for Crawler is the voice actor for Varix from Destiny? Is, I saw someone say, oh, this is Varix. Is, is that true? Is that true? Feed me bacon, yes, or die. <laughs> now, Raz, what you gotta do here is we gotta dismantle some mines. Wait, he was also Optimus Prime in Transformers Animated? The... 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 B B <laughs> I gotta save my goddamn game. <laughs> he, he was Megatron in Beast Wars? Holy shit. Holy shit, this guy is like... This guy is like my voice acting hero now. This, is, this guy is like everything I aspire to be. <laughs>
<laughs> Holy shit. I like I've talked about a couple times how like I want to try getting into more voice acting stuff someday and like, you know, I've had some folks tell me that my range is okay. My vocal range is all right. Um I I I hope that someday uh I can be the kind of person where the like people will hear my voice in a video game and look up who did the voice and be like Wait, holy shit, that was Holly? That's my dream. If that can happen, I'd be okay. <laughs> I think I saved, right? I saved? I think I saved. I saved, yeah. Uh, I think this is a pretty good place to, to wrap up for now. You sure you want to quit your game and go back to the title screen? If you haven't saved, your progress will be lost. Yes! God, this font is so Spongebob to me. <laughs> this font is so Spongebob to me. That was fun. It already happens with wait, you're doing voices. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Please, germs. Thank you for playing. <gasps> Thank you, Blue Greaves. Blue Graves, rather. Sorry for the bits. I appreciate it. How am I liking it so far? Uh, let me put it this way. Uh, I'm sad that I don't have the energy to play more tonight. Because holy shit, I want to play more of this video game. <laughs> oh man. Uh, next week. Next week. Uh, you know, as long as I have like time and the, the, the energy for it, which I probably will. Uh, fingers crossed, but man, next week, I really want to tuck into this game some more. I really want to take a big bite out of this game. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you all, uh, very much for tuning in tonight. Uh, apologies again for, uh, the shorter stream, but, uh, as I said earlier, today has been, like, not, not frankly, not just today, but like this entire week has been like fucking exhausting <laughs> for a lot of reasons. Not, not, not just including the fact that I played Claymates. Like I've, I've talked about it obliquely a bit, but just like it's, it's been a week, <laughs> and uh, I'm a little sad I didn't have more in me to play more of this game, but uh, I had a good time. I, I, I figure y'all did, considering how there's this many of you here for this long. <laughs> uh, thank you for all the support tonight. This is like one of the few times I can think of where I had to be like, okay, I appreciate the generosity. Y'all are being so generous that I'm having trouble paying attention to the video game. <laughs> so, again, apologies for having to mute the alerts, but... uh. I do appreciate all the all the support tonight and all nights, so thank y'all very much. Been great seeing content you never dug up at multiple playthroughs. Yeah, like there is so much in this game that like I feel like there's gonna be so much shit I miss and like I'm okay with that. It's gonna be fun like the day I inevitably like end up playing it again or watching someone else play it and just being like Wait shit, I never saw that, did I? Game is good. Game is good. Let's uh, see if there's any fan art to show off from tonight. Yes, there is. Uh, I will put the screen up. I'll put some music on. I closed my media player, so I have to get that back open so we can get some music. Uh, give me just a tick to get that up. Sure. Uh, it's Music of Kong. That's fine. And I will get the Discord up. Starting off with this one. Uh, from Lyachir? Lyakir? Lyakir? One of those is probably right, and if none of those are right, I'm very sorry. I'm bad at pronouncing things. <laughs> he says, Hi, this isn't Psychonauts related, but I've been thinking about doing it for a while, so I made a little Lego Holly. Oh, this is cute. Oh! I have... 
such a soft spot for Lego in my heart of hearts. So this makes me real happy to see. Thank you very much. This is adorable. Big fan. This one here from Killer Lesbian, who says, Holly is the bestest psychonauts and squirrels cannot be trusted. I suppose I did just kind of annihilate that one squirrel, didn't I? <laughs> oh, this is real cute. I like the little bulging eyes on the bird. That's a good touch. Also, this is a cute little outfit. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. We got this one here from Buggle. That's my friend Bug. That's my friend Mickey. Who says, yay, hooray, second beams. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. I always love to see Mickey's art. Making me happy. I think Raz's goggles are cute. They're good. This is real cute. I love all the colors you did on this. I love everything about it. I want to pick this up and I want to put it on my TV screen and magically have like an entire cartoon that just looks like this. Thank you very much. We got this one from Zoobob who says, I can't believe Zim and Raz have the same voice actor. Uh-huh, they sure do. <laughs> it is uh, extremely uh, the same actor and like, I can, like, I guess some people were like, oh, wow, that's a surprise, but, like, I can I can kind of tell. There's enough difference where it's, like, second-guessing yourself, but it makes sense. Hell yeah, thank you very much. Got another one from Buggle. Beast. Beast. Oh, it's so good animal. It's incredible animal to see on my screen. I'm so happy to see it. I'm so happy to see my good friend teleport options. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is cute. I wonder if they make like, uh, cause I know they have like physical merch you can get. I wonder if they make one that's like, uh, like, like a little plush teleport options you can buy. I would buy that. I would have a little stuffed teleport options friend in my house. I would do that. <laughs> We got this one from Ruby. That kid's gonna die. And then they just died in front of me. <laughs> Thank you very much. You must be playing Psychonauts? Eh, don't worry about it. It was kind of a short stream tonight anyways. There'll be more next week too. Don't you worry. We got this one here from Lightbulb, who says, Stop it in for a quick raz. Love these funny campers. <laughs> I like when I have mental health. I hate when I have mental ill. <laughs> My raz voice isn't very good, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be. This is real cute. Oh. Thank you very much. Got this one here from Soda Pop Sergeant, who says, I wanted to draw more for the stream, but I had to bounce. However, this game is incredibly good. I'm inclined to agree with that. <laughs> they cussed? In the Psychonauts? <laughs> also, this is real cute. Oh. I, I am always a fan of, like, whenever I play through a game and people are just like, Okay, I'm gonna draw you in your little persona in, like, the outfit of the main character. <laughs> it's a good look. It's a good look, the little jacket and the turtleneck. I like it. Thank you very much. This is wonderful. We got this one here from 1UP Clock. <laughs> oh, I adore this. Oh, I am all about this. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, what was the name of that achievement again? I have to double check. Uh, I love punching. Hey, um... So, only 4% of people that have played Psychonauts on Steam have unlocked the punching, uh, achievement. <laughs> awesome. I'm one of them. <laughs> God, this is dope. Thank you so much. I love... Uh, like fucking all of this, but like the line work of this, like the super bold kind of sketchy lines, that's real good. Thank you very much. 
this one here from Lightbulb. Cute. Oh, I like the touch of the, like, the... The, like, big, poofy sock slash leg warmer things. I always thought those were a charming look. I don't know if I could pull that off on, like, an outfit myself, but, I mean, like, it looks real good here. Love the jacket, too. Hell yeah. This is cool. Thank you. We got this one here from... D oh, yeah, the high-waisted pants are also real good. It's... The fun thing about uh, everyone and my, not everyone, well, yes, everyone, uh, everyone who submits for the fan art showcases specifically, being so, like, good at, like, talent and, and fashion is, like, I get to look at all these and be like, oh, shit, I got, uh, I got outfit ideas now. <laughs> Which is fun. So we got this one here from D.I. D? Die? D? I'm not sure. Uh, who says, won't finish this for a bit. But I was drawing Holly as both a cadet and an agent. Oh, cute. <laughs> I like that both of them have the messy hair. It's It's been extremely a messy hair kind of day for me. Also, the stylization on the lashes is real cute. Also, the, I've, I've, I've always been charmed by the, like, the, 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 the extremely high up belts on, like, dresses and stuff. I've always thought that was a cute look. This is real good. Oh, I love this a lot. Thank you very much. Got this one here from Benjamin. He says, I love women with psychic powers. I'm literally always saying this. Oh, I love the little, like, the, the little, like, bouncy ball globe what you did. Also the little, the little, the little, like, over-the-shoulder backpack. Oh, this is real good. Thank you very much. Man, all the art tonight is real good, which I feel like I say every time I do a fan art showcase, but like, it's true. <laughs> Got this one here from Jordan, who says, Work in progress in progress of Holly Cycle Knot. I gotta shade it still, but I hope you enjoy what I've got so far. Oh, I'm enjoying it. Man. Oh, this is so good. This is so cool. I love the like the the like the angled swirl like in the like in some of the promo art stuff and I really like the the style you've gone for here and the colors you picked. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you very much. Also the fact that this is just a work in progress has me like going out of my goddamn gourd because like what, what do you mean this isn't finished? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> we got this one here from Zoobob. Rasputin, please. Germs. I'm very hungry. When do I need a big bite? <laughs> Hell yeah. Love to see Sasha, my friend Sasha. The international man of boxes. Thank you very much. Got this one here from Sign. Oh, so many birds. Oh. Oh, I love this a lot. Oh, the like, the giant, the like this style of goggles too is real good. It looks like, it looks almost like, uh, I I got like this set of like welding goggles. Uh, from, like, a family member once, just because, like, I thought they looked cool. And, like, it extremely reminds me of those. I am so into that. Also, man, I always love, I mean, like, your art in general sign, but, like, the face on this is real good, and all, like, the shapes on the, on fucking everything, frankly. It's so expressive. Thank you very much. Oh... I'm gonna fold that one up and put it in my wallet and look at it forever. We got this one here from Barney Calhoun. Rasputin, please. Germs. <laughs> I like the devil's grin that you've done here. <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you. 
looks like that's it for the Discord. I'm going to check real quick on Twitter to see if there's anything else. Also, I just realized I've had, like, a whole lot of browser windows and tabs open while I did that stream. It didn't really affect performance at all, so I guess it's not an issue, but bag. I forgot to do it. I will look real quick to see if there's anything. We've got a couple. Ooh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Let me just get the browse review up. get these images loaded. There we go. Got this one here from uh, Vincent Goes to Hell, Vermwood, who says, a bunch of stuff drawn during Holly's Psychonaut stream, plus also a doodle of Holly and Lola from the Claybait stream as a bonus. <laughs> this is a really nice Raz. I'm into it. I like the spirals on the eyes. It's a cute touch. <laughs> Sometimes you just got a punch. Happy. Get in. I am very happy to report that after like a week of Lola like being very anxious and pacing around the house a lot and meowing and howling and all that, uh, she was very happy and very at ease today, which was nice. Get in. <laughs> These are all real cute. Thank you very much. We got more. Oh, we got more. <laughs> Hamburger slot! <laughs> I'm so glad! I'm so glad someone drew computer hamburger slot! <laughs> more than anything! <laughs> oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming! <laughs> I'm coming on all fours to go faster for this meat! Also, I, I, I'm realizing now the bacon that we were given was probably, like, fully cooked, and that was the joke of, like, the smell of delicious cooked meat. But the idea of just having a slab of raw bacon that lures in an old man is really funny to me. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. These are all so wonderful. We have this one here from Septemberist. And it's a little Lola. And it's a little Lola happy kitten. And it's a comfy little kitten. Cute. This is uh, a pretty accurate representation of how I spent a good chunk of my morning. Just because like she was happy that the sun was out. So she was all curled up in her little basket. And I was sitting next to her and petting her. And she was purring. And it was, it was, it was nice. Also, the little plus nose is a cute touch. Yeah. <laughs> This is wonderful, thank you. We got this one here from Murph from Winter Kid, who says, Holly, scuttling around your brain. Helpfully. I mean, I sure hope it's helpful. By the way, I don't know what I'm doing in there. Um, so if you get mad at me, it's not my fault. It's just my opinion. <laughs> this is adorable. I really like the little face that you did. This is good. Why is everyone saying Among Us? This is... No, this is Psychonauts picture. This is this is Psychonauts. It's a different game. It's a very different game, in fact. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Not a, not a clue. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is adorable. And we have this one. From Char. From ben Flint. Big brain moment. And I am a huge fan of this. Holy shit. I, uh, have always loved, uh, your line work and, like, the colors that you use in, in, in your art. Uh, so. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a bit of the pug champion, as the children say, because this is dope as hell. <laughs> Fuck yeah, thank you very much. I'm going to double check real quick to make sure there's nothing I missed. Um, okay, looks like that's it for fan art then. Thank y'all 
very much for all the wonderful pictures. One second? Okay. Okay, I'm waiting so patiently. I'm waiting so patiently. Um, and I'm stalling for time, and I'm sitting so pretty, and um, smiling. I'm gonna look for who we can raid in the meantime. Um, let's see. We can... Who else is streaming right now? Who else is live right now? Nothing in particular that's live right now is especially catching my eye. Yeah, we don't gotta do a raid, I guess. We can just, we can always just end the stream, or maybe I send you to look at Critter Vision and look at animals. Something like that. That sounds fun. Okay, uh, we do have one last picture, though. Uh, so I'm going to open up uh, my browser view to show it off. Uh, and it's from... Uh, my good friend Puzz, uh, he says, very enjoying today's Holly stream for obvious reasons. <laughs> and I am uh, a massive fan uh, of Puzz's art, and so this is this has given me a case of the warm and fuzzies, as it were. <laughs> Huge fan of the shape of this bird. And I really, really like the way that you, like, tried to go for, like, the, the, the Psychonauts art style while also putting your own spin on it. Holy shit. Man. I'm just staring at this with hearts in my eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Puzz. I adore this. God damn it, they're playing good music when I'm trying to wrap up the stream. That's okay. Uh, we got one more on the Discord as well, so I'll show that off. Hang on. Um, this one here from Elk Turtle who says, Ooh. <laughs> and Thank you, Major Peppy, for the nine month resub. Oh no, I missed it. That's okay. There's always next week and also the VOD. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you very much. This is real cute. I really like the face on it. It feels very reminiscent of like old style like spy movie posters, which is part of like what the Psychonauts art style is, is going for. So I guess that makes sense. I love it. Thank you very much. And also... I know that bird. Oh, I know that bird. Awesome. And I believe that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm almost certain that's it. Uh, unless there's like something else that Twitter just didn't tag me in. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Good stream today. Uh, again, apologies that it couldn't have been longer, but uh, you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. Next week, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, I'll have uh, the get up and go juice in me needed to like play this for more than two hours or so. Three hours? It was. I mean, I guess the stream time is now close to four hours. I guess I played it a little while longer than I thought I did, but. Next week, hopefully, uh, I'll get to play this game even more because, my god, I want to play this game more. <laughs> and I'm very excited to share it with you all. Uh, let me just double check one last time to see if there is anyone else we can raid. Oh, actually, I just noticed Ty's live. Uh, racing Mega Man X5. <laughs> we can go check that out. I think that sounds like a good time. Uh, but... Uh, I don't have the, the, the playlist open that plays the goodbye song, so give me just a sec. Uh, I closed all of my windows and I forgot to open them up. I am a fool. Uh, 
But... That's gonna be it for our stream tonight. I had a lot of fun. I hope you all did too. Thank you again for all the support tonight. Thank you for all the subs, all the tips, all the bits. Again, I'm very sorry for having to mute it because of how overwhelming it got, but... It means a whole lot to me. So, thank you all very, very much. Your generosity, uh... Makes me... Very happy, because it means people, you know, like like what I'm putting out enough to... To, 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 to support what we do here a little bit. Thank you as well for all of the uh, raids and hosts and follows that we had. Thank you to any new viewers who showed up today. Thank you again for all the beautiful, incredible fan art. And thank you all so much for tuning in. You know, whether you were only here for a bit or you stuck out through the whole thing, whether you only hopped in at the start or you only made it here at the end, whether you were just lurking or you were having a nice time, hopefully, uh, talking with folks in chat. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with us. I've just noticed someone went live, uh, and it is uh, my pal Lily, Digi Lily, who is streaming. Uh, <laughs> Sonic Heroes going through the chaotic story, and so I'm gonna host folks on over that way actually. And we're gonna check out some Sonky, some Sonky Hog. If you're sticking around for the raid, I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope you show them, you know, the same kindness that you've shown me tonight. Be good. Don't be rude. I can't think of any raid message. Um. So, just just be nice, okay? Um, I'm all done doing my own streams for the week, but tomorrow uh, you'll catch me on my friend Sophie, Sophie Baby's stream, uh, and we'll be doing some Barrow Trauma. And then Sunday, uh, I'll be over on my friend Sox's stream, and we'll be checking out some more Mario Sunshine. Maybe I'll see you then? Or maybe I'll see you around some other time, but no matter what happens before we head off, I'd just like to say I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>